there are a bunch of China people online who criticize Bruce Lee. I really don't know why. Nobody abroad does this, but his own countrymen criticize him the most, so it can be said that the overall quality and demeanor of our country still lack a lot. Regardless of whether Bruce Lee could really fight or if he was truly unbeatable in his era, these are not reasons for us to speculate rashly and maliciously denigrate him. Some people just enjoy this feeling. When a great person is in the spotlight, some like to dig up his dirt, question, and belittle him to attract attention. Even in an answer where someone was persuading me to learn more about the culture of fighting, he said Bruce Lee would be knocked out, cold, by a single sweet kick in the UFC. I want to say, what contribution have you made to the fighting industry, and what qualifications do you have to judge Bruce Lee? In the era when Bruce Lee was at the height of his power, you guys weren't even born yet. Can you understand him better than those who knew him in real life? Bruce Lee's fighting art is suitable for real-life situations, not for cage sports. Bruce Lee's fighting philosophy is suitable for no-rules fighting. No matter what weight class you are in, Bruce Lee can compete with you. This is the evaluation of Bruce Lee by the Karate World Champion, Mike Stone. Bruce Lee was a very powerful opponent and boxer, and I enjoyed training with him very much. He was very charming both in and out of the ring. Bruce Lee was very fast, and he learned from everyone. As for who is stronger between him and Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris used one of Bruce Lee's sayings, bragging is the glory of fools. It can be seen how Chuck Norris respected Bruce Lee. How could a professional fighter respect an amateur who is just a show-off and only acts in plays, what do you think?